Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. Very excited today to show you the latest addition to our producer portfolio range, which is Evo Grid 4 Woodwinds. And we've got a collection of incredible players here, um, very progressive avant-garde uh, wind players playing beautifully orchestrated long notes from Ben Foskett that evolve it with increases in intensity and expression and um, different techniques to give you a really beautiful um, Set series of long evolving tones that you can use to um, to work with a similar way to the strings evo grids which we've already shown you so the first thing to note is that there are two bands um, that we've recorded for this so you can see here we've got one we've called winds and one we've called reeds and then they're separated into light and more kind of pitch variants um, type of sounds so the winds band is three flutes, alto and bass flute, contrabass flute, uh, B flat clarinets, three of those, and three B flat bass clarinets. And then the more reeds band is three oboes, two cor anglais, two clarinets, bass clarinet again, baritone sax, and three bassoons. So really wonderful collection and blend of instruments. Um, the Evo Grid uh, UI is again. Um, the, the same as before, so you'll recognize all of the controls from previous walkthroughs, but I'll briefly explain as we go through. And we're listening to the, um, to the sound just as it comes out of the box. So we've got a certain amount of reverb and delay on there, um, give you a nice dreamy sound. So I'll just give you a quick blast and then I'll dial back on those effects so that we can hear more clearly um, from, from sound to sound. So this is what it sounds like out of the box. So as you can hear, um, you've got a variety of different things. If we go into the individual evolutions, this gives you a complete list of, of everything that's there. And you can actually load these. Um, and if I show you, let's take one as an example. Um, so we'll load this uh, light into flutter tongue. And you'll see that this presents in the BML code base. So we're looking at um, a different way of, of, uh, of looking at this. And if I play this sound, so you can hear I just dialed back the reverb there. You can hear um, the uh, the, the sound quite clearly there as it gradually goes starts to go each player going into the flutter tongue in their own time so let's go back to our main patch our actual evo grid patch now um, i'm going to randomize within the first section I'm going to dial back these reverb and delays and then just give you a quick blast of this again And you can hear that we've got dynamic control as well. You've also got control over where, with the variation slider, where you start within the Evo. And this can be assigned, as ever, by hitting control, uh, removing the existing CC2 control, and then learning a new one or just setting that to, to anything you want. Now, let's have a quick look at the mics. So we're listening to the standard mics. If we listen to the tweaked version, So these, um, these tweaked uh, versions have a variety of different kind of things. They're, they tend to feature key moments. Um, we kind of sometimes loop or reverse, repeat. Um, they've been edited basically into kind of new and interesting um, long notes. And then you can see we have the ambient. So I'm going to lock this to the first evolution, which is, um, if we look in here, it's just the one that goes into multi-vib. 
just to give you an idea of how this ambient sound sounds. So you get the idea from that. Let's go back. Um, okay, so we've had a look at the first section, which is the light winds. Let's look at the pitchier winds section now. So we can randomize within this pitch section. Um, if we look in the individual evolutions again, we can see what the kind of selection is coming from. So these are all very interesting, very detailed orchestrations that have been done and given to the players. Let's have a listen to this. <laughs> Obviously we're still in the ambient section. Let's go back to the normal mics so you can hear um, exactly what these sound like, just completely raw. So you can hear clearly what's going on there. Let's have, um, let's have a listen to a couple of these in detail, actually. So we'll go for the number 16, soft flutter into overtones. And the, the way I just did that, by the way, is command click any of the pegs. And that gives you, it selects all of the pegs in a straight line. So on specific evolution. So evolution number 16 sounds like this. And looking down the bottom some really great stuff in there. Let's have a look at um, Multiphonics with a Multo Vib pedal. Sounds like this. And then looking at Tone Cell Episodic is another one which I really like. Have a listen to this one. And again, you can obviously pick, you can tailor these exactly how you want. You can just keep rolling the dice until you get something that, that um, works for you. And then select anything that you don't like in there. You can obviously change the peg to pick something that's um, you know more in keeping with the effect that you're trying to achieve. So we've had a look at the wind band. Let's have a look at the reeds band. So I'm going to again randomize. And if we scroll down here, you can see the selection that we're working from here. So let's have a listen to the reads on their own. So you can hear there, let's roll the dice again with the same. Very 
beautiful stuff. And then we can listen to some a couple of specific ones for here. So into Trem Shudders, um, love this one. Have a listen to this. Just wonderful stuff. And then if we look at the pitch section of the reeds, I'll scroll across so you can see the full width of this. And that sounds like this. Now we can also look um, within here, we've got the warped section. So let me show you this very quickly. Now these warp sections are a kind of three different extra treatments. And the first one, CV, cultural vulture treatment, sounds like this. So you can hear we've got a little bit of delay and verb on there, but it's that it's that beautifully kind of um, crunchy sound that you get with the culture vulture. Then we've got the two kind of extended um, time stretch versions. So this is the first simplest one, and I'm going to pull back the delay and verb a bit so you can hear this more clearly. And then if we switch to the super long stretch version. And you can hear with these versions you've got you know again you've got your evolving sound they really are kind of changing but they're changing in a much more mysterious and, and unusual way um, so incredibly useful those those ones as well so if we go back to our main patch here and let's just have a little play around with the dice so let's go randomize with any literally totally random all the way across the pegboard let's have a listen to how that sounds pull down the verb and delay just a little bit there um, and then let's have another randomize and let's try one more So you really can, there's such a multitude of possibilities in here. It's, there's, it's a very, very creative um, library. You can really dial in exactly the kind of sound that you want and, and always look into the individual evolutions to see what the component parts are. That's the simplest way of getting um, quickly working out what all of these different evos are that you're looking at here. And then you can, you can actually orchestrate your own um, specific effect by picking the correct effect here, the correct kind of articulation here um, for the correct note center that you're using here. And it might be that you have the entire low section of the band playing one specific evolution by selecting um, all of the pegs here. And then you decide, well, you know, at E4, I want to go to a different evolution. 
So there's lots and lots of possibilities, um, millions of possibilities, in fact, um, and it's it's a really creative tool. So I hope you're really going to enjoy playing with Evo Grid 4. We're very proud of it. It's um, very different um, from the strings evolutions that we've put out so far, but it's very, very useful. So thank you very much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.